The Holy Quran already contains some guidelines that help us know where to stop and where not to stop. I explain those in detail in this video. If you haven't watched it yet, please check it out before proceeding with this lesson. The best way to read the Quran is following these guidelines and also stopping at the end of each ayah, no matter how short it is, because that is how the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to read the Quran. But what if it is a long ayah? And what if I run out of breath and I can't make it till the end of the ayah or the next stopping symbol? How can I stop without changing the meaning of the ayah? Here are two solutions that you could use to solve this problem. The first solution is the easy solution. And it is pretty simple. If you stop in the middle of a longer ayah with no stopping signs that are near enough, always reread two or three words from what you already read in order to continue the meaning without changing it. Like in this example. So I repeated three words and then I continued until I reached the stopping sign where I can stop without having any problems. Let's have a look at another example. فَلَا تُعْجِبُكَ أَمْوَالُهُمْ وَلَا أَوْلَادُهُمْ إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُعَذِّبَهُمْ بِهَا فِي الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَتَزْهَقَ أَنفُسُهُمْ وَتَزْهَقَ أَنفُسُهُمْ وَهُمْ كَافِرُونَ so in this case, I repeated two words and then I continued reading until the end of the ayah. You could also use this method multiple times if the ayah is longer and if you need to do that. Like in this example. مَكْتُوبًا عِنْدَهُمْ فِي التَّوْرَاتِ وَالْإِنْجِيلِ يَأْمُرُهُمْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ يَأْمُرُهُمْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَيَنْهَاهُمْ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَيُحِلُّ لَهُمُ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَيُحِلُّ لَهُمُ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَيُحَرِّمُ عَلَيْهِمُ الْخَبَائِثَ وَيَضَعُ عَنْهُمْ إِصْرَهُمْ وَيَضَعُ عَنْهُمْ إِصْرَهُمْ وَالْأَغْلَالَ الَّتِي كَانَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ So here I stop multiple times until I got to the point where I can safely stop at the stopping symbol. Now, the advanced solution. And it is for those who have a better understanding of the Qur'an and know more about the Arabic sentence structure. And it is that you could stop and continue in the middle of the ayah as long as you do not change the meaning of the ayah or split the sentence into half. Like in this example. لَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا نُوحًا إِلَىٰ قَوْمِهِ فَقَالَ يَا قَوْمِ اعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مَا لَكُمْ مِنْ إِلَٰهٍ غَيْرُهُ إِنِّي أَخَافُ عَلَيْكُمْ عَذَابَ يَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ Here I stopped in the middle of the ayah because this was the end of the sentence. And then the following sentence, I could just simply start at the new sentence. So I didn't have to repeat part of the previous sentence to be able to continue with the rest of the ayah. If I did that, it's not a problem, but it is possible that I start with the new system, like I mentioned, from inni akhafu alaykum until the end of the ayah. Another example. قَالُوا يَا ذَا الْقَرْنَيْنِ إِنَّ يَأْجُوجَ وَمَأْجُوجَ مُفْسِدُونَ فِي الْأَرْضِ فَهَلْ نَجَعَلُ لَكَ خَرْجًا عَلَىٰ أَنْ تَجَعَلَ بَيْنَنَا وَبَيْنَهُمْ سَدَّا Here is the same issue. I stopped at the end of the sentence. 
because the following sentence is actually a question starting with the word fahel. So I stopped at the end of the sentence and then I started a new sentence so it didn't change the meaning of the ayah whatsoever. Now you know where to stop if you run out of breath. Now let's talk about how you stop and what you should do when you stop. If you stop at a word and the word ends with a vowel or a tanween of any kind except tanween al-fatiha, you're going to turn all of this into a sukun. If you stop at the end of the word, like in this example. لَإِن لَمْ يَنْتَهِ الْمُنَافِقُونَ وَالَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ وَالَّذِينَ فِي قُلُوبِهِمْ مَرَضٌ وَالْمُرْجِفُونَ So here I stopped first at the word مَرَض and I didn't pronounce the tanween ضم but when I continued reading I pronounced the tanween ضم and when I stopped at the word المرجفون, I turned الفاتحة that you see at the end of the word into sukun. And I said والمرجفون. Another example. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَتَّخِذُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ أَنْدَادًا يُحِبُّونَهُمْ كَحُبِّ اللَّهِ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَشَدُّ حُبًّا لِلَّهِ وَلَوْ يَرَى الَّذِينَ ظَلَمُوا إِذْ يَرَوْنَ الْعَذَابَ إِذْ يَرَوْنَ الْعَذَابَ أَنَّ الْقُوَّةَ لِلَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَأَنَّ اللَّهِ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ شَدِيدُ الْعَذَابَ here I stopped multiple times in this ayah. Every time I stopped at a word, I turned the vowel or the tanween into a sukun. Like in the word Allah, I turned it from Allahi into Allah. And I said min dunillah. So I didn't say min dunillahi. And again, when I stopped at the word al adab and I didn't say al adab but I said al adab when I stopped at the word. But if the word does end with a tanween fatiha, you're going to add a fatiha at the end of the word plus an alif. And this is going to sound like this. Alam tara anna allaha anzala mina samai maa Mina sama ima fa Here we have the word ma and the word ma ends with a tanween fatiha on top of the hamza. If this is the case, you're going to leave al fatiha, just al fatiha without the tanween, and you're going to add alif so it will sound like ma. Let's have a look at another example. كَمَثَلِ الَّذِي يَنْعِقُ بِمَا لَا يَسْمَعُ إِلَّا دُعَاءً إِلَّا دُعَاءً وَنِدَاءً So here when I stopped at the word dua the first time, I said dua because there is tanween fatiha. And when I stopped the second time at the word nida. I said nida because there is a tanween fatiha at the end of the word like I mentioned. And of course, when I continue reading, I will pronounce it normally as a tanween fatiha. Last but not least, if the word ends with a ta marbuta, and ta marbuta looks like this, you're going to turn it into a ha. Every time you see ta marbuta and you stop at the end of the word, you will turn it into a ha. And the famous example is found in Surah al haqqa you're going to notice that I'm going to pronounce the same word in two different ways. The first when I continue reading the word and the second when I stop at the word. Notice the difference. <laughs> so in the first time I said <laughs> and I continued reading, I pronounced the ta' marbuta like any other ta'. But when I stopped at it, 
I turned the ta' marbuta into a ha. So I said, malhaqah. Let's have a look at a one more example. Same thing, when I stopped at the word thamaniya, I turned the ta' marbuta into a ha, but when I continued reading, I said ayam. Then I pronounced the ta' marbuta normally. Pay attention because you're going to turn every single ta' marbuta into a ha, even if it ends with a tanween fatiha. Like in this example. كان الناس أمة واحدة. So the first word with تنوين فاتحة is أمة. But when I continued reading, I said أمة واحدة. The second word is واحدة and it ends with تاء مربوطة. But when I stopped at it, I turned the تاء مربوطة into a ها. So I said واحدة. Another example. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنَةً وَقِنَا عَذَابَ النَّارِ Notice how I changed the way of pronouncing the word that has Tanwin Fatiha and Ta' Marbuta at the end of the word when I stop and when I continue reading. So to recap, where to stop? You stop at the end of each ayah and you stop according to the stopping symbols like I mentioned at the beginning. Otherwise, if that is not possible, you're going to repeat two or three words from what you've just read before you continue reading. Or you're going to stop where the sentence ends so that you don't change the meaning of the ayah. And how you stop? You're going to turn every vowel or tanween, except for the tanween fatiha, into a sukun if you stop at the end of the word. If it is a tanween fatiha at the end of the word and you want to stop at it, you're going to turn it into a fatiha and an alif. If the word ends with ta marbuta, you will always turn it into a ha. Thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen or learned something new, please like and share the video for other people to learn from it. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.